Hello everyone, I am Torior, and this is my first impressions video of uh, Strategy and Tactics Dark Ages. I don't usually cover games I get um, without asking for them, but I've been sent a code, um, but, well, because usually they're, for example, not really up my alley. Uh, but I got uh, sent a code for this, and it caught my attention because it is made by the same guys that made the first Majesty game. Um, so, yeah, let's give it a try and see if it's good. I have not started this game, I have not played it at all. This is a first impressions video. Let's have a look. It's supposed to be, um, okay. Here's the advisor, Gulen Griva, an authorized representative of the Trade Union Guild Council. <laughs> Union Guild, okay. Mm, important objectives for the army. What objectives do I have? How do I open the list of those objectives? Oh, here. Recruit three squads. Mm, yeah, this is supposed to be a strategy game. Sort of looks like a computer adaptation of a board game. And the graphics are cute. They, they, they kind of look like a board game, actually. I like that. Okay, can I, can I dismiss this somehow? Royal Advisor Gulen Griever. Alright. Mm. This is highlighted. Let's click this guy. Can I move him somewhere? Open the list. How do I open the list? Oh, here, maybe. Objectives. Recruit three squads of Union crossbowmen. Set formation. The Raven. Uh, I don't understand the formation efficiency, but we'll see. Captain Carl Lingen is important. We have 24 provinces and 6 squads. Alright, alright. Yeah, at first glance this seems like a board game, very much. Um, we can recruit crossbowmen. Mm, so, right, I need to move the general into the city, apparently, to recruit troops. Okay. So this is all mine, right? The purple, the purple borders are mine. At first glance, the world seems very limited, but maybe as we expand, we'll get more reach. Maybe this is just a tutorial thing. Okay, let's click the end turn button. Oh, why didn't I see what was going on? Income summary. Okay. Oh, all right. I'll get more into that later. Um, we can recruit squads, recruitment screen. Okay, so it's made on the general menu, not on the town menu. Cards. And this is Union Crossbowman. Special range attack in mobility one faction, the Union. Vanguard, I'm not sure. Oh, it needs to be on the front lines. All oh, right, all right. Um, I'm supposed to hire three of them, right? I think so. One, two, three. I guess I could recruit one more because we have one more slot in the army. Can we recruit anything else? No, it's just this. Okay, let's get one more. Let's fill our army. How good are rookies? Open army for screen and squad screen. Okay. Mm, attack, defense, morale, number, mobility. Training squads will turn mm, from rookies into veterans, receive new abilities. Improving existing ones. Alright, I think I'll understand this more when we start fighting someone. Defense is low, attack is high. Morale is low and numbers are relatively high. So this is level, right? No. This is defense. Where is level? Where is the unit's level displayed? Oh, here. Squad level 3, squad level 1. Okay, so they get extra abilities. Fine, it's fine. Uh, best formation for soldiers. Battle formation screen. Let's see. Raven formation looks promising. All right, let's see. Wait a minute, where's the raven? Oh, here. 
Choose the set out of your scores. Mark it as the default one. Uh, I'm not sure. So the sleeves. Suitable for cavalry. The hammer. Cavalry. Flexible formation. All right, let's 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 do the raven. Sure. So now, do I need to set my troops somewhere? Okay, so it's a formation thing as well. All right, I think we'll put regular infantry in the front and archers on the sides. I'm not sure this is if this isn't stupid. But they give buffs if they are in front, right? So these are also useful in the back. So I'm going to set them like this. And it might be a stupid decision. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, what if I click auto? Is this the same thing? Oh, just switch the levels. Okay, save. That's done. Uh, life is a series of choices. A general can um, either recruit soldiers or go on a march. We did the recruiting, so we'll engage in combat a little bit later. All right. Um, can I can I not build my stuff or anything? Kingdom screen. Oh, I want general watch a battle. Okay. Well, let's just follow the tutorial for now. Let's see what happens. Hmm. I don't like that it banks out the screen when I end the turn. New tasks. Lots of new tasks. Recruit 20 squads. Uh, what? Set formation the sleeves as default. But um, I just changed the formations. Declare war. I want general. Watch a battle. Descry, destroy one squad. Destroy 20 squads. Okay, so I need to... Uh, castle lasts for Griffin blood. We need to capture Old Dale. Our attacks on the foreign province will be considered to be declaration of war. Let's do this. Wait, where's that general of mine? Um, can I take the small town first? Just attack the garrison, shall I? Okay. Um, task completed, task completed. Let's just follow the tutorial, as I said. So, I income summary, it's fine. Yeah, I think I should probably attack the garrison. Why is it flashing? Peasants, peasants, peasants. Yeah, I'm probably gonna destroy them. Sure, what's that? Declare war. Forward in general of yours onto a province of the empire. Yeah, um, their garrisons are separated. So if I just attack one, it should do us good. This is nobody's, is it? I can theoretically just walk through here. Now, apparently the tutorial limits me and I can only attack them here. Yes, let's do that then. Um, we need more generals for serious action. Hire one more. How? How do I hire? Oh, here. Okay. Sure. Master Arnulf Zoller. Cavalry expert and a fanatic. All right, there's a lot of stats I'm not familiar with. It's, it's, it's okay. Mm. Number of squads that he can hire. Increases squad morale. Okay. I saw their traits. How do I close this? Now, it seems like I need to hire stuff for him, don't, don't I? Squads available for recruitment. Um, okay, how do I hire stuff for him? Seems like I cannot, maybe because I just recruited him. I'm not sure. Let's end turn. Okay, so I moved here, they moved back. What? No, I didn't see any battles. Oh, so you don't manage battles, you just send, set the armies to fight. Okay. Atrocious bloodbath happened in Goldall province. Watch combat. So that's peasants, archers, and do I do anything? Or so he's using some ability. They get buffs for being in the front lines, I guess. I'm 
really not sure what's going on here. Okay, that was easy. Let's speed this up a bit. This, this is a bit weird. Hmm. I mean, it's cool, but I, I wish I could influence the battle. Okay, how do I... Uh, X. Okay, we won. We lost a province, someone occupied it, and we have captured the province. Income, su income summary. Income changed a bit. Oh, right. Um, we'll even have enough money to oh, hire mercenaries. How do I hire mercenaries? Mm, ready to offer their souls in exchange for some coin. Not all of them are as good as the legendary black company, but we must choose from what we have. So what, we have one company available or what? Can you can you please disappear? Alright, let's just click higher. Otto Hoodlum. Choose a province. I guess I'll put them here. Do I have them four or five turns or what? Red slashers. Oh, right, so this is the Red Slashers company, and I can hire more of them through here. Huh. Alright then. Stilburg. Where is Stilburg? Is this Stilburg? No, this is Stilburg. I'm not at war with these guys, am I? Or is it the same? Co no, it's a different country. Alright, um... Bloody slushers against some peasants. Alright, go and kill those. You try and capture the city if you can. Let's see if you can. And you, do you have any troops? Can I see? Info. Turn over the general card. Oh, so it's, it's basically a board game. So do you have any troops? You have no troops at all. And there's just these crossbowmen available. Alright. That'll do. <coughs> you all have your movement selected. Let's end the turn. So, yeah, I'm not sure I like that. I don't want to see a replay. Losses 22. I won, occupied, occupied, got some income, fine. So we got the city of Old Dale. Griffin Knights and Swordsmen. I'm not sure the mercenaries can manage that. Knights are a tough bunch, aren't they? Can you recruit more? We don't have a battle formation. Um, whatever, just do the, the trap. Yeah, just do the sleeves thing automatically. Should I recruit more troops with him? Oh, can you recruit troops? Oh, you could, but your troops are full. Can you um, sort of combine them? No? Okay, apparently not. Because we've suffered losses, so I thought we might, you know, Recruiting will be available in one turn, and this is a knight's unit. Griffin nobles. Oh, I was wrong. It's nobles, not knights. And this is this is knights. All right, all right, all right. They're relatively tough, but so are my crossbowmen. So, what do I do with these mercenaries? Maybe I should hire more. How do I hire more mercenaries? Uh, Sure, let's hire more mercenaries. He looks like the guy from The Walking Dead, uh, the one with the crossbow, doesn't he? Red slashers. Here's a lot of them. Oh, you're level four. Let's get the cheaper one. 
Ulrich the Lucky. Okay, and I'm going to use both of them to destroy this unit here, whilst my main general defends the city from these guys. And you, you almost have a full unit. Um, I don't think you need a full unit, so let's move you over here. Alright, and turn. Not all generals have received an order. Well, I thought you would, you know... Oh, preparation. Sure, do preparation. I want him to defend the city. I guess I could walk around and destroy armies. Bloodbath happened. Bloodbath happened. Alright, alright. Hmm. I guess now I should be able to move this general out. I'll move him over here. Now, how many troops do you have? You have few troops and you have more troops. So you are going to do some blast bathing and you are going to defend the city. And you are going to... what's this? I'm not sure what city that is. If it's nobody's, I might as well capture it. Let's go this way. Yeah, it's probably going to be a longer video. Task completed. Bloodbath. Bloodbath. Skirmish. Oh, where? Mm, contract is expiring in two turns. And we're getting more income. Alright. Mm, can you go and capture this city? No, apparently not. It's outside of the realm of capturability. Yeah, so let's destroy these guys. I am not at war with them, so I probably should not do anything with that. I guess I can send you into the city. You should be able to destroy them because they're peasants, and you should be able to destroy them. Does everyone has, have orders? Yes. It's a pity you can't expand your cities or anything. I guess I could probably hire another general. I'm not sure I want to. Hmm. I could probably use one, but the mercenaries seem good. Alright, I'll recruit a new general. Why not? I have a lot of money. Um, here. Master Ludolf Weingarten. Economical. Oh, cheaper squads. Can I recruit stuff for him already? Yes. No. Next turn. Alright. This has more flexibility. I, I'm guessing the crossbowmen are good, but um, I'll get some units from here. Alright, let's end the turn and see what happens. Not all generals have received an order. Ambush. Alright, do ambush or whatever. He doesn't have any troops, so he can't do anything. Not really. Contract is expiring. Mercenaries will disappear in one turn. Yeah, those mercenaries are useful, aren't they? Alright, you. In this province. You. Go here. You go here. Um, right, I also have mercenaries here. It would be a pity to waste them. So I'm going to move them down here. I don't have... I'm not at war with the guys down south, am I? I'm sure I'm not. Doesn't really matter. All right, what do I? Who do I want to hire? Hmm. I guess it's probably good to have a mix of various units. He has cheap recruitment. I guess I'll do wedge formation. Let's do two of these. They're expensive but strong. Actually, mm, what does it have? Increases defense by 3 if in the center. Increases attack by 6 if in the center. Hmm. A rear line increase. Okay, so these are super cheap guys and these are better guys. Let's take some better guys. I'm not sure. I don't know the, the statistics and such yet. Oh, so only a few... Why only a few formations are available to him? This is not good. 
They get buffs when they are in the center. And so do they. And I don't have any formations that would make good use of it. Let's do the sleeves then. I guess. It's not perfect. Uh, I think I will... Um, oh crap, I, I screwed up. I think I will trade his units to other troops if that is possible. I'm not sure. Split the army. Seems like it is. Mm, okay, let's in turn and see what happens. Summary. Piece of the board. Contract with mercenaries expired. Took some land. All right. I guess I should probably move closer to the enemy. Um, they're going to expire in one turn. I'm try going to try and capture a city using them. In the meantime, let's go and capture some more land, I guess. I guess I could have more generals hired just for capturing land. Yeah, let's get another one. Generous tactician. Hmm. Increases squad recruitment cost. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to um, make him recruit just some peasants. Let's see how that works out for us. Um, okay, let's end the turn. Contract with Max Mercenaries expired, I captured the city. We have completed all our main objectives, achieved the main goal. Um, would you like to continue the game and achieve additional goals? Sure. It's a training scenario, right? You know what? Let's let's close the scenario. This is what this was a tutorial one. There were additional uh, things we did not achieve. Future union of trading and crafting towns, military defeat and loss of developed rich provinces finish the empire off. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure. Don't have enough things. Don't have enough points. Let's forget that. So was that a... Oh, I guess that was the tutorial. So I can start a new game and continue. Save the game, upgrade squads, or... Okay. Okay, so that was a scenario. Hmm. Is there an option to... Oh, you have to finish one by one to, uh, um, to unlock another one. Alright, good to know. Oldberg, Count Maximilian Blackstorm, owned extensive northern provinces and his people controlled river navigation. Um, seize all lands. Just conquer stuff, basically. Seize Grabble, Grabble Castle. Conquer all, all cities. Okay, let's see. I do like the graphics of that. So we start here, this is ours, we're the red guys. Hmm. You know, it would be a lot of fun as a board game. I'm not sure if I really like it as a computer game. Hmm. Although it is interesting, it is an, uh, it's relaxing. I think I'd love playing it on a mobile device. So maybe that's a route they should take. I like the music, I like the graphics. And certainly an interesting idea. And I think it would work rather well as a board game. Although I think the combat rules might be a little bit too complicated and... Oh, debauchery. <laughs> that's a nice name for a town. And... Um, it's a pity that you can only manage armies. That you can't manage the battles and that you can't manage mm, developing your country. Like, you know, upgrading provinces or something. Because you can't, right? 
Hmm. I mean, it's an interesting idea and it's still in development, so maybe it will get more interesting. But for now I think I'll go back to playing some Paradox titles. So that will be it for this video. I mean, it's, it's the game's not bad, I do like the graphics and the music, but it could probably use a little bit of work. Um, I'm not sure if it has multiplayer, I didn't really pay attention to that, but let's have a look. Because it might work well in multiplayer. Uh, no, I don't think it does. Herocraft, yeah, they, that's the guys that made Majesty. Hmm. I guess... Yeah, basically my conclusion is I'd probably love it on a mobile device. It might be a bit too com too simplistic and um, limited for my taste on a PC. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, Strategy and Tactics Dark Ages. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again soon. And I will probably start a new Europa Universalis 4 campaign soon. Still can't decide what I'll play. Anyway, see ya!